Hi and uh, welcome to this um, Model X key fob teardown. Uh, I have a complete key fob here. So this is the Model X production year um, late 2016 key fob. Uh, this is the protector for the key fob. So I'm just going to put these away. Uh, so this is the complete uh, key fob that I've um, taken uh, apart. Uh, the reason why I took this apart is because I had some water damage done to the um, key fob, so it's not waterproof. Um, you can kind of see that there's a little bit of rust here and corrosion. I have cleaned the um, uh, PCP, PCB board here with a brush and some alcohol specialized for um, uh, electronics. And I've completely taken this apart. Um, one thing to uh, remember when you do take this apart, there's a special place around the top of the key fob around here, which is very uh, fragile. So when you remove these side buttons that you have here, which are the windows on the key fob, you have to be very careful so you don't break the key fob here. So see, I've broken it. So I'm going to um, super glue that. So I have some super glue here. I'm going to put some glue there and try to fix that. I don't know if this key fob will work afterwards, but I'm just going to show you the process of actually putting this together again. Okay, so the first tr uh, step is a bit tricky. You need to fit this little pin here or this little thing here. It goes underneath the metal part and it goes onto the board. So I'll fit it and I'll show you the results. All right, so it's been fitted. So it's in place now, as you can see. This is going to be a bit tricky. And I think this is probably the most tricky part about reassembling. Um, okay, so now I'm gonna fit this onto here. And there are some steering pins here, here, and down here, which will make it easier to actually fit the board. I have to fit it this way, it goes that way down. So let's do that. All right, so the board is now perfectly aligned inside the um, bottom plate here. And you see the steering pins are coming up uh, nicely here and nicely down there. You can also see on the inside that you see that little black um, uh, pin thing. It rests underneath the, the metal uh, connector for the battery. Now there's one thing that I have done is you see there's no white um, a plastic label uh, on the bottom here where there's the green area. There was that originally, but I took it away because there was some water damage but, um, underneath that white tape. I don't have a replacement tape. The next step is that you'll fit this uh, top uh, over here. It goes uh, snugly and nicely in here. Uh, and then you push these back onto the um, plastic steering pins that you have on the back here. And then you simply drop these buttons here inside. Uh, there's a little pin or a little notch on these uh, plastic um, buttons. So it um, falls nicely into the correct place, the correct way. All right, perfect. So now that's done. And the next step now is going to be fitting the actual housing over here. The housing itself, it snaps in place uh, with these uh, little tongues. So when you place it on the top here, you just press it shut and it will snap in place. There are four of these snap locks uh, on both sides of this uh, key fob. All right, so I can confirm that all the uh, snap locks are snapped in place. Uh, it looks good. Now it's time to fit the, um, the window button and the side doors. And then lastly, uh, it should be the battery and then the um, the bottom plate. Okay, so before you put on the sides, you need to put these uh, window uh, buttons on uh, like that. So you just simply just align them on the back there and they should fit neatly into place like that. There is some plastic actually on the back side of these ones. Uh, I don't know why. Uh, I'm not going to remove them because they were there uh, from a uh, factory, so they might have a purpose, which I haven't discovered yet. Right, so that is actually uh, very easy. You see like that, it just clicks into place. So all you need to do is basically just take this and click it into place here. Let's see, like that. And then I'm gonna click it into place. 
Let's see if I can do that with one hand. There we go. That side. And I'll do it on this side as well. There you go. Clicked into place. So now the last thing to do is to actually put in the battery and then the uh, uh, protection cover, bottom protection cover. So let's do that. So the battery is fitted inside and the uh, bottom protection cover, it slips on uh, at front first, front, and then you just press it on in the back. So actually, if you never opened this before, this is where you open the um, key. See, it's not properly closed. I'll just press it close there. You just insert something small there and just lift that lip off and then lift um, uh, lift it up here in the front as well. There's a kind of a hinge in front here. So that's the complete uh, assembly of the Model X key fob.